Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how to easily cut out the background of a picture. This is something that I use in my YouTube thumbnails and just about every other graphic that I create. I have a really quick and easy way for you guys to do this and it's completely free. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week to help you with the techie side of running your online business. So if that's something that you need help with, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, let's get into today's video. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you a few different options and then you can choose whichever one works best for you. So option one is just a really cool tool that I found online. So it's online.photoscissors.com and all you need to do is click upload image and grab the image that you want to take the background away from. Okay, and then you'll see this little green circle. What you're going to want to do is whatever you want to cut out, you're going to um, just kind of squiggle all over that. Um, you actually don't even really need to do it that much. And you're gonna do the same with the background. Okay, and this is going to pull it up on the right. Automatically, it takes out the background for you. So this is really cool. If you see any errors at all, you can just go um, in again on top of it with the red and it will remove those areas for you uh, because this is a, a difficult photo that I chose, but I wanted to show you guys what happens when it's a bit trickier. Um, so yeah, so I would just go over the little problem areas with red. So I'm just fixing down here. And as you can see on the right, that's getting rid of those for me. Okay, cool. So then you can actually smooth out the boundary. If you increase this, it's going to smooth out your edges. And offset, I generally just leave that zero. And feathering, this also kind of makes it look smoother as well. So this is a tool that you could use. And then you can just save this and open it up. And as you can see, we have our cutout. So that's just a really quick way of doing it. However, a lot of you guys wanted to know how you could also outline this. Um, so you can't do this in this tool, so we need a second tool. All right, so the second tool is pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. And you're going to click Open Pixlr Editor. Again, this one is free as well. So what you're going to do is click open new image from computer, grab that image that we just created. Awesome. All right, so what you're going to do is go over here to where it says layer zero, right click on that, and then click layer styles. Now you're going to check where it says inner glow and I also want you to click on the word itself. Okay, so click on inner, and then a few different styling options will come up. First, I'm going to change the color. So I just clicked on that, and I'm gonna make it bright pink so that I can show this to you guys. Click okay. And as you can see, we already have a bit of an outline there. And then you have a few different options as well. So we can increase the hardness, so that's like how solid the color is. And we can also adjust the size, so I can make that even bigger by dragging that over to the right. So that's good because it can get rid of like any spaces. If you happen to have a space like that, you can just increase the size. Um, so yeah, so something like that and click OK. And there you go, that is your outlined photo. And then all you need to do is click file and save that. And you have to make sure that it saves as a PNG file. That's what's going to give you this transparent background. <laughs> I probably should have said that. Like if you'd not ever done this before and you're seeing this checkered background, you probably thought I was crazy for a little bit. <laughs> but that is the symbol for transparent background. 
Okay, so that is one way to do it, right? Making use of photo scissors first, which is pretty quick, and then coming in here, but I'm going to show you how you can do this in Pixlr as well. Okay, so you're going to click open image from computer, grab the image that you want to erase the background, and then you're gonna head over here to where it says background, and you'll see a little lock sign. Just double click on that. Okay, let me zoom out a bit. So this is the first simple way. You're going to go over here and click on this little magic wand. Click on that and then you're going to just come over here and click on your background. Now, if you have like a really easy background and it's all one color, you're not gonna have a problem at all and you'll be able to just use this and delete the background. Mine's a bit more difficult. Um, when it is, just hold down the shift key on your keyboard and just click on your background a few more times. So I'm clicking kind of down here where it's causing these lines. And I'm also gonna go in little areas like this, like the shadows that they're not picking up. And I'm just gonna look at my image and you'll see over here that it is um, picking up my hand, which we don't want. When that happens, you just need to hit command on your keyboard and click over your hand and that will delete that. Then what you do is hit delete on your keyboard. That's going to get rid of your background. So as I said, this one is not perfect, but it will work if you have a really easy background. So to click out of this magic wand, I just go over to this marquee tool here and then click on the image. Okay, great. And now you can use the eraser tool. If you click on that, and then you can make your brush big by going up here and choosing a big size. Okay, you can actually erase any areas that it didn't pick up. So that's all that you need to do. If it's not perfect, um, just make sure to go over it with the eraser tool. And then you would follow the instructions for the outline that I already showed you. So option three is for when you need this to be super exact. So you can open your image from your computer again. So this is definitely the most time consuming of all of the options, but I just wanted to give um, this final option to you just in case uh, the other ones were not perfect enough. All right, so first thing, again, go over to our background and double click on the lock symbol. Okay, so for this, we need to use the lasso tool. And then you're also gonna wanna make sure that you're on the polygonal version. I hope I said that right. <laughs> you know what I mean. So now in order to use this, you're going to click on the edge of your photo. Then as you can see, it's dragging up this little line. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to trace the outside of my image with my mouse. So I'm basically just moving it around and clicking on the little points. You kind of have to do this in small stages in order for it to work. Okay, so just because of all the curves and everything. So it might not be fully perfect. I'm sure you could do this a bit better than I'm doing right now. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go all the way around my image. Okay, and once you get to the very end, you need to make sure that your points connect again. So I'm gonna click here and my points are going to connect. We're going to see my outline done there. Then what we're going to do is click on edit and invert selection. And now just hit the delete key on your keyboard and that will get rid of your background there. So yeah, that's a more exact way of doing it. Um, again, to deselect anything, I just click on the marquee tool and then I click on my image. And again, to outline, just right click on layer, click layer styles, inner glow, click on inner glow, change the color to whatever you want it to be, click OK, and then you can change the hardness, the size, and there you go, click OK. 
and to export this photo file, save, save it as a PNG and click OK. So now when you open this up, This is what you will see with no background, which is fantastic. And then you can go ahead and you can upload this to Canva, which is where you know we normally do the rest of our design work. So yeah, that's how you do that, guys. I hope that this really helps you out and now you can achieve this look. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked how quick and easy it was. This video was actually a request from you guys, which I love receiving. So if you have anything techie that you would like to see on my channel, just leave that for me in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, hitting subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.